What's up guys, Gapo here with my first tutorial series. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on bungee cord. Now before I get into what bungee cord is and all that, if you're a server owner and you own a private server, just your friends, or a server to get profit on something, or, and you want many types of gameplays like factions, survival, hunger games, something like that, well, this is the server slash plugin whatever you can call for you. Many servers that use this are MCSG, Hypixel, Jerry's and Harry's, The Hive. So basically what Bungie Core does is it links all these hundreds and hundreds, even two servers or even hundreds of servers together. So you can switch, as on MCSG, you can switch hubs and switch lobbies, all that kind of stuff. and you can use signs, portals, all that jazz. So anyways, other than that, we can go on over here and start this up. So what Bungie Cord is, is that it's basically a type of server. Not Spigot, it's on the Spigot forms, but it's not exactly Spigot. It's a type of proxy server. So basically the proxy server, what it does is over here, it's the bungiecord.jar. Oh, whoops, did I click it? Oh, no. One second. <sighs> Crap. <laughs> oh, well, let's just ignore that right now. Don't click on the bungeecore.jar because that kind of messes it up. But anyways, it's basically... I'll just restart my Minecraft. And basically, while I restart my Minecraft, let me just talk a little bit more about it. So what the bungeecore.jar will do is it's a proxy that connects two servers. One over here, which I use as bucket servers. I didn't even start them up yet. I just agreed to the EULA and then I'll just start us all up fresh. And a proxy server. So basically it can be a minimum of one server actually, but let me just get it to two servers and a proxy server. So basically you'll need three servers if you're using a host or just make like three types of server kind of things if you want to have a, a server on your desktop or computer. So before we begin, this tutorial will teach you guys how to easily and quickly install Bungie Cord and create a Minecraft server network on your computer or host. Maybe I'll have a host set up, a host tutorial set up if you want by request. So you can start up here by downloading Bungie Cord. You can get onto the Jenkins site, just download bungiecord.jar right here. I'm just going to discard it because I already have it. And if you do not have Bucket, just download Bucket from here, which I do not need. And if you want to use Spigot, I personally don't use Spigot, so you can use Spigot as well. So once you get it set up and running, you're going to create a text document. And in that text document, you are going to copy this line of code. And you put this line of code here, and then you put XMX how much RAM you want to put to your server here. I put 2G, and which means two gigabytes. And file save as a run dot bat. Now I've already set that up, so it's like this, and bam. Then what you do is you just click on the run dot bat. It downloads all these stuff. If you get any errors, just start it up again and see. Apparently, I'm not getting any errors, so that's all good. And just type in end. Wait, and it closes. Now, head on over to server one. Now, as you know, in the setting up a server part, you get this line of code right here to put into your, um, as you say, new text document. Then you put that line of code, then you save it as run and bat. But something you need to change is over here, you see this true thing. Over here, you just need to set it to false. Because then the online mode will still tra stay as true, which bugs a lot of people. So, yes. Once you have that to false, just start that right up. Now, we'll give that a second. Let me also get my Minecraft started up. We... Alright, this is still starting up, bam, 
All right, now I'll just go ahead and stop that. And press that button. Let's minimize this. Okay, so server two, same thing, same thing in the run.bat. Just wait for this. Boop, boop. And there seems to be something in that, but we won't worry about that thing. That's something about ban was creating the file, but oh well. Now stop that. And press any key, bam. Okay, now we're going to head on over to the config file in the proxy plugin folder. So over here, we start off with the groups. So there's going to be an admin, so basically just put in your username as an admin. See disabled commands, whichever commands you want disabled in the proxy plugin. And then player limit, you can just set up whatever you want. You can leave it as how many players can join, like five. But just leave it as negative one if you don't want any limit. Ignore the stats, ignore permissions unless you want to add something as a player. Play default default people will get these, admins will get these. As you can visit on which the commands are right here. So then over here you can max players, let's make this 10 fallback server list name that lobby host 0.0.0.025565 that's going to be for me local host 25565 find local address leave that as true ping pass through leave that as false tab list you can make this global ping which gives a tab list for the whole all the servers together or just server which i'm going to do default default server which is going to be lobby <coughs> Force host. So basically, what happens is you can set a domain for another type of server and then put that domain over here. And if that server is under the proxy, and if you put that IP in, basically that IP in the Minecraft Direct Connect or somewhere, whoops, if you put in like the Minecraft Direct Connect or something right there, it basically takes you right there to the PvP server. So we're just going to ignore that unless you want to do that. You can set it up like Let's see. Play dot bungee cord test dot net, and then that would take you to the lobby. But first, what you have to do is you have to own this domain, and then you need to say set a C name or a name. I'm not. I forgot what it is to direct to your actual lobby server, and then you put that in here. Tab size, you can set at 60 or how many players if your server is popular. Leave it to like, I don't know, 1,000, <laughs> 100 or something like that. Or you can make this down to 10. I'm just going to leave it to 60. Force default server. You can leave this as false unless you want players to be forced to go into the lobby. So I don't really care about that right now. MOTD, let's just make this bungee cord. Whoops. Test. Query enabled false unless you want um, voting or serverless to be able to see all your plugins and stuff. Just have that. Timeout 3, 30,000, leave that as is. Connection throttle 4,000, leave it as, as it is. Alright, now let's head on over here. We're just gonna, for a second, we're just gonna paste this right in. Then we're gonna copy this since I have two servers. You're going to have to list all the servers that you have for as many servers. So let's just name my second server survival. Now for my lobby server, which is going to be server one, what we're going to do right here is it's going to be localhost. Since I did not put forward or anything, I'm just going to make this 25566 restricted false so anyone can join. MOTD bungee cord dot test. And then over here, survival, let's make this 25567. And same MOTD, IP forward false, and online mode true, since I don't want cracked players to join. Now that we are done, we are going to save this file. And what is this? Yes, let's just save that. Okay. Now we are done on the proxy side. Let's head on over to server 1. Now, basically, once you have the config set up, do not start the servers yet. What you need to do is sometimes may sound confusing, but it's 
partially easy. You're gonna click on the bucket.yml. You're gonna scroll until you come to connection throttle. You're gonna highlight it and change it to negative one. And then you're also going to come to server.properties. And let me just change my port to 25566 right here. And you're gonna change this online mode to false. Now, because you're changing this, that doesn't mean that your server is going to be cracked and crack players will be able to join. Bungie Cord, since it's the head proxy, it will automatically secure it, so don't worry, no crack players will join. And if someone directly connects with that, some IP to this server, thinking that they can get in as being a crack player, if you put that domain in that config where I said play.bungiecordtest.net, then they will connect in with the bungee cord proxy so that'll also be good so now we're done with that let's just head on over and do the same thing right here negative one and server properties let me change this to two five five six seven and we're gonna change this over here to false bam and bam now it looks like we're done so we're just gonna go on over here and we're gonna run this put this here it looks like it's working all good and we're gonna go to server one let's drag this down here let's see if that's doing all good uh-huh uh -huh. yes it is and we're gonna go right here and run this as well let's see mm-hmm mm-hmm all good awesome so now that we're done let's go on over and open minecraft we're gonna go to direct connect and for me I'm gonna put localhost colon two five five six five I don't even think you have to put in the port since it's the default port but I just did just in case we're gonna go on over here and join server now you can see skull diamonds has connected Skull Diamond's connect server connector lobby has connected. I have joined through the proxy and I am here. Now basically what you can start as the basic commands is basically slash server. So basically it says you are currently connected to the lobby which is basically on file server 1. You may connect to the following servers at this time. Survival which is the server 2 in the files and lobby which I'm already connected to. So what you can do is you can do server survival and then you get to the survival server which is server 2 in the files right here. So that's pretty sweet. You can now connect through many servers without joining many IPs by going through direct connect join this IP, direct connect join this IP. Bungie Core makes it way more easier doing that. Now, let's just go back to lobby and look at all the commands. So over here, alert. Basically what alert does, it's a broadcast system which broadcasts a uh, chat t to all servers. So, hi. Basically it gives a form like that. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see it here in the console. Let me see if you can see it in here. Yep, alert. And the proxy and it sends an alert to another server and then over here Bungie Bungie is really nothing Bungie just shows what version you're running glist connects shows all the players total online in each type of server and total players online then there's gr reload it reloads the Bungie cord conf configuration <laughs> I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mess anything up. IP, uh, you can find the IP or something. It's like that. Right now, mine is saying localhost. And perms slash perms shows all the permissions that you have. And send. Basically, what you can do is send. You can send. I do not have permission because I have not given myself that permission in the config. So you need to put this config this permission into the config right here so you can go in here admin and make sure no tabs and put that right in 
And then basically that gives you the power to, whoops, what did I do? <laughs> gives you the power to send. Let me just see if it, I don't think, I don't believe it will reload, yep. But that you can send another player to another server or something like that. And then there's the classic server. Server lobby, I'm already connected to that. Server survival. Bam. So basically that really sums it up. There are also many, even though Bungie Core does not give the ability to go to another server with portal signs, etc. There are many plugins in Bungie Core which can do this. Now, when I mean plugins, I do not mean craft bucket plugins. Like, in the plugins folder, doesn't mean you can put plugins like Essentials, World Edit, or anything inside Bungie Core. That will mess it up. Basically, plugins, which I mean, are on the spigot forms. You can find plugins for Bungie Core and put them in. Some of them, ones I can tell you that use portals to go to other servers is this plugin called Janus. But you need the um, Nether disabled or something like that. So basically with Janus you can go to other servers using Nether portals, which you need to disable the Nether. So you don't go to another world, you'll just go to another server. Or you can use this other thing called Bungie Suite. Basically what Bungie Suite has, it's actually really good Bungie um, cord plugins. It has Bungie Spawn, it says where new players, which server new players spawn in, which players, which spawns returning players spawn in, then it has sign portals, and then it has nether portals. You can like say if you want nether, go through nether and go to another world, go through fire, go through lava, go through water, all that amazing stuff. So I can put those in the link. I'll put in a link to a preset, pre-made servers of these. I'll put a link to the Bungie Suite. I'll put a link to the code to put in, I'll put a link to Bungie Cord and all that stuff. So hope I helped you guys and did not bore you guys out. I hope I helped you understand on how to install Bungie Cord for your Minecraft server network quickly and easily. If you have any problems, just put them right in the comments below. I can help you out and sort your things out so you can have some fun. So anyways, guys, thanks again. Don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I will see you guys all later. Ta-ta.